Shut up and sit down. Welcome to the Bricks King Podcast, where I'm going to bend your ear about Lego. Review those amazing bricks and plastic and discuss what is new and up and coming around the Lego world. I'm your minifig host, Matt. Let's bet on it. Welcome in, everybody. How are we doing today from the hiatus? We were gone. I mean, we were gone, gone. We were incommunicado. We were out in the wilderness, away from technology. The show was like, just on pause. I hope all of you, at least that celebrate Thanksgiving, had a lovely Thanksgiving holiday. I sure did. I was out at Big Bend National Park, away from technology, away from everything, getting back in touch with nature, and just having a good old time with uh, my wife and my son and and a few of the dogs, and just just enjoying being outside. The weather was great. We just had so much fun. So we were gone. Now we're back. And there's a lot to talk about. Today, episode 212, we're going to talk about the Lego City Wildlife Rescue set. We have a number of things coming up. The new Monkey Kid stuff just dropped, or is dropping, I should say, didn't just drop, is dropping here in the next day. So I suggest if you are into Monkey Kid, you check out that kind of stuff. I will have the reviews up. We're going to do a few sets at a time. We're not going to do all at the same time because I will tell you this. There are some pieces. There are some building techniques in there that with these pieces that you have never, ever seen before that expand opportunities galore. Justin Ramsden and his team for the Monkey Kid group uh, under the Lego umbrella, obviously, went way above and beyond. So that is for another day. Today, the Lego City Wildlife Sets, and we've got them all. I've had them. I've had them built. I've been waiting to discuss it. So let's go ahead and jump into them. The first one that is up for discussion today is the Wildlife Rescue ATV 60300. It's a super cheap set. It's only 10 bucks, 74 pieces, real simple. You have an ATV, you've got your um, what drones. I mean, drones are such a thing now. It's so commonplace to see drones flying around. When we were camping out at Big Ben, we saw somebody that had a drone up in the air the one night. I heard it before I saw it, and then I saw the flashing green and red lights. I was like, ah, okay. However, you have a small little ATV build. We've seen these before. Nothing super uber special about it. It's just kind of tiny. And then you have your drone that comes on top of it. You do get two monkeys with this set. And that is why this set, it seems to me, it is well worth, you're like, oh, it's only 74 pieces. It is well worth above and beyond the fact that it's only 10 bucks or that it's 10 bucks for only 74 pieces. You get two monkeys, the new monkeys. Everybody has been clamoring, the new monkeys, the new monkeys, the new monkeys. Everybody loves the monkeys. They are super neat, even the ones that have casts on them, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. You have some monkey poo that is hanging underneath the tree. I thought that was really neat, the little tree build. Um, the tree build's only three bricks tall, super, super kind of small. I, the main part of the build is only three bricks tall. The top monkey that is hanging out up there or that you could put up there as they show, you know, on the box and in the instructions and stuff like that. You could put him up there and it would be like four and two thirds tall, which is fine. My point is, it's a tiny little build. You get some monkey poo that is with it. You get two monkeys. You get a banana. You get a blue scorpion because I guess the scorpion is supposed to be a menace for the monkeys. I I, I don't know. And then you get your minifig, obviously, with the newer version of the uh, motorcycle helmet, the um, dirt biking helmet, the off-roading helmet. So that works as well. So for 10 bucks, I mean, you really cannot go wrong. I I like this. I like this for what it is for its price point. And the fact that you get two animals, although they are identical, I still love the way that you are have the ability to collect multiple monkeys for only 10 bucks. 
And the thing is, this kind of stuff does go on sale from time to time, at least here in the U.S., and you could get it for 20%, 25%, sometimes 30%. I've never really seen it more than that because it's just super tiny. I mean, there's really nothing big about this. So it's, it's, it's nice to have. Moving along, we have the Wildlife Rescue Off-Roader, 60301. This is just the beginning of awesomeness. This entire wave is incredible. So with this, we're talking four plus here. You you've got to you've got to drop your mindset down quite a bit as an as an a fall as somebody that is a even if you're um, maybe not an a fall but you're a t fall or you're a, a, a you're not a four plus you're not a four year old you have to understand what's going on here. So what you get with this is a number of things. The first thing I want to talk about is the vehicle. The vehicle is the four plus chassis. And here's the thing. It is a big chassis. And what it does lack as far as depth and personality and stuff like that, you do have a chain that can wrap around in the rear on a coil. But what it does lack because you have that big chassis body, there are studs that are open. There are studs that, I mean, there is a way to personalize this or kind of ramp this thing up just, ever, you know, ever so slightly to make it look less like a four plus set. I mean, there's a really good opportunity here to be able to take your own pieces, maybe from other sets or well, I guess it would have to be from other sets, other sets or your inventory, you know, that you have, you go to the pick a brick wall and you're like, you know what? I could do this. Here's a really good opportunity to make an interesting type vehicle. Kids are going to love this just because of what the vehicle offers. You have the chain in the back, like I said, that can be wound up and unwound, which is, which is really nice. You do have two other separate builds here. You have a super tiny plate build that has um, some cargo and stuff like that. You've got a campfire that is out here along with, uh, they're, they're supposed to be like, I guess, extra logs. I don't know. You know, it, it's, it's okay. It works. It works. It works. And then you have a tree that comes with it. It's nice to be able to just put that around and add to it. And we'll talk more in the grander scale of things with all of these sets in a little bit. But my goodness, it really looks good. But moving on, here is what we've got for the big build. And the big build is what is going to attract, if it has not attracted you yet, this is going to attract you. And here's the thing. It's a $50 price point. It is 157 pieces. You're like, wait, no. But here's why I waited to sell that information. What you are about to find out is going to blow your mind as far as animals go. This, all of these sets have to do specifically with animals and good pieces. Plates, bricks, animals galore. And animals we have not seen before. So let's talk about it. Now the great thing, like I said, is the fact that you get animals here. You get the new snake mold, which is beautifully painted. It is so much better than the crappy snakes we have had in the past. That it was, it was one of those things. It's like this is like barrel of monkey version of snake. It was just atrocious. It just did not work very well. I understand the point behind it. We're modern day. We need new snakes, and I love this snake. It is super, uh, super neat in the way that it is done. It does sit up on its own. When I say sit up, the head does sit up on its own. It does have enough weight, but it does have a clipping spot in the back for your ability to clip it onto a clip, obviously. And in this case, that is what you can do to make it look as if it's, you know, climbing up towards the baby cub that is up there, or you want to put it in a different location. You can do that. You want to put it on the ground. That is something that is possible as well. So from the front of this thing, you have two little mountainous type builds. They use the big rock pieces that are here. And the nice thing about it is it does really build up the texturing really quick. You have some small rock pieces as well. You have some other uh, slopes and such that really help to be able to capture that. And then you have this long plate that spans in between them. And that is essentially supposed to be, if you think of it as more like a tree, a downed log that is in between two locations, 
And that is essentially what that is supposed to be, which is nice. I wish it was a little more round, but I understand why it's not. However, you do have that, and it is only held in place by, like, tiles and, you know, one by two cheese wedges. That is it. That is it. And what is interesting is there is a little technic, a lime green technic piece here that you can use to knock that ajar and create this controversy of, oh my God, the baby lion is by itself. It is stranded. It can't get to dad that is on the other side, which is a new male lion and it has this beautiful mane. The head goes up and down. Obviously, the body goes up and down at the hips. Tail doesn't move. That's fine, but my goodness, does it ever look magical? And that's all I can say. It is magical. I, I love the way this looks. It's so pretty. The detailing in the main is fantastic. It's dual molded here. I, I just love the way it's done. So your baby cannot get to dad. You know, he can't get over to the line. He can't, I'm stuck over here. Help, please. Meanwhile, in my scenario, the clip that is at the bottom where the baby is, so we've spun around to the back here, and where the baby is, you've got, you can create this snake that is climbing up toward it and stuff. There's an egg underneath it, the cavern underneath, there's bones underneath in the cavern, underneath these rock pieces, which is a great idea to be able to use the extra space. Don't just wall it off. Give me something else that I can do. And that's what they did. It works really, really well. So in between those spaces, you have some water that's supposed to be cascading through, maybe a, a, a slow drifting current on, on this little creek or, or stream that is, is cutting through, maybe a river. I mean, this is pretty wide. It'd be a, like a slow moving river or something like that. It doesn't feel very rough. However, you have this baby that is stuck up there. What are you going to do? You Got to figure out a way to save it. And that is the name of the set. Obviously, off-road rescue, um, the off-roader rescue, I should say. And that is what is nice about the big, chunky vehicle. It does feel more off-road-ish. And I will tell you this. When I originally opened this, and I've, I've done four-plus sets before, but this thing felt way bigger than I honestly expected. Comparing it to one of the other vehicles that is in here that doesn't use the solid chassis, the solid frame, I was like... This thing is way too big in comparison, but, you know, four plus, right? So, aside from that, like I said, you do have some bones that are hidden in here uh, underneath the one rock pieces. You do have an egg that you can put in there. Maybe it's a snake's egg. Maybe it's just an egg from, I don't know, a platypus or whatever, something weird. Anyway, nice builds, and they do use the road plate type pieces here. You have... Um, in blue, you have it in the lime green, which is really nice. Plus, you do get a plethora of mini figs as well. You have your mini fig that comes with your driver that is driving the vehicle, obviously. He's got his sunglasses. We've seen that face on many a times, but I do like the printing on his torso. It really looks cool. It, it says rescue on the back. It is come, uh, kind of something standard. His is blue. There are some others that are some different colors. But he's got some rope that is supposed to be like slung across his shoulder, hanging in the front that you get to see. It's really nice. He does not have dual faces. So if that's something you're really looking for, he does not have that. Then you do have another male figure here. He's got the new helmeted, um, new helmet that is on here in the dark red. I do like that. Single face only. His in the back says rescue, but he is on this tannish colored torso, and I really like it's done. The printed pockets on the legs really work well for me, and in the front, I mean, you kind of have that open shirt feel. It looks really nice, kind of almost like he's wearing that vest. It works well. He's simply holding a, you know, chicken leg, a, a, a leg for some kind of meat for the, uh, the lion. And now then we move on to the female character that comes with this set. I love her torso print in the front. She has some dangly jewelry looking stuff that is hanging from the front. Around the back, she has a nicely printed knapsack. You can see the strap that is in the front. She has a headband on that is printed on her face. It's only a single face and she has a crook, a hook that is used here. Is it a crook? Crook. I can't remember. Um, think of like little Bo Peep. So we have that. That is not a new piece. 
but we do have that, and that is to wrangle the snake. She's there to save the day, maybe save the baby lion somehow, figure out a way to to save them, you know. So I do like the way that is done. I I love this set. I do love it for its $50 price point. I do love it for that it has the opportunity to be able to do more. Plus, you also have some other things that are here. You have a tiny, stupid tiny jet ski type watercraft that is built, but it is printed just like the logo that is on the 4 Plus Jeep looking off-roader that is printed as well. Blue paw print inside of a, an emergency logo that says rescue that is printed. You do get some other accessories like your camera, your binoculars, your baby bottle because you got to feed the baby, you know, and stuff like that. The comb, I don't know that you're going to be combing a lion or a full grown lion. It seems a little silly to me. So you do get those kind of things that you have that you can put into your, whether you want to put it into the the basket and carry it around or you want to put it in tiny little things that you can attach to the back end of your rescue vehicle. Either way, it's good stuff all around. So this next one may or may not be my favorite. You're going to find out at the end. It is the wildlife rescue operation. Operation kind of feels like a a, a double term here. I don't quite know if that's what they were going for or not. 60302. It is a $90 set, 525 pieces. Some of you right now are like, what in the world is going on? How am I only getting 500 pieces and it's going to cost me $90? There's a reason. And there's a very good reason. If you remember last year, Lego and Net Geographic, National Geographic, Net Geo, kind of teamed up and they're like, you know what? We can do some really cool things. We can educate kids and they have an opportunity to play with these really cool things. And that's what they did last year. They did the uh, underwater stuff, deep sea type things. This year, we're talking about, you know, elephants and lions and monkeys and snakes and alligators and some really cool stuff, really cool stuff. And in this set, there's a lot here. You have a lot of playability here, and that is my favorite thing about City. There's so many builds that you can do with so many different things and play so many different ways that for even if, you, even if you're an adult, you're going to have a lot of fun. So let's uh, start with one of the small builds here. We have this six-wheeled vehicle. Well, it has six hubs on it, and it has tank treads, which, of course, why would you not want tank treads, right? Tank treads are super duper important in off-roading. It it is a it is a big deal. I don't re- I I guess we did have did we with Camp Cretaceous Cretaceous? I don't think that was one. Anyway, we'll get to that. But what you have here is this nice little tiny six-wheeled vehicle, but it's actually built up quite well. This does have stickers on it because it is not a four plus set. Roof does come off. It's got some lights that are on top. It has a nice big windshield in the front. The overhanging of the grill in the front is really nice. They use a gearing type piece in here. I really like the way that is done. They have a one by two modified plate that does have not a clip, but it has a bar that comes out and rises upward at a 90 degree angle. It has a basket that is in the back so you can put important things. It's kind of got these exhaust type pieces in the back. They are grills, the grill pieces that they use. Um, on modified one by two plates. They hang down and give some good texture that is there. I really like the way this is done. The mirrors are done really well. You only have one minifig that is inside, and that is always, you know, it is only six studs wide, but with the tank treads or the treads itself, it is eight studs wide. So, you know, you've got a printed piece in there for the console of what it what is going on as far as your instrumentation for your 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 driver. Now, your minifig that is supposed to be a part of this, that is supposed to be driving this, we're talking about the same torso with the light dish tan color as we talked about with one of the other ones. Printing on the on the legs. I like the way that it's done. The coloring is really well. He does have two faces. He does have one that is smiley happy face and one that is not. He Where just his lips are together and he's just like, cool. You know, that, that, that's what I see them saying. And it, it's funny how Lego minifig, excuse me, I'm, I'm dropping pieces everywhere. It's funny how Lego minifig faces 
can give you a feeling <laughs> that you may or may not have with with any other time. The nice thing about this is I did take this outside. I ran it through the mulch in my flower bed. I did run it through dirt. I ran it on the concrete. I ran it over rocks that we have around one of our flower beds. I did run it on tile. I did run it on carpet. This thing is awesome. And here's what I love about it. I have big hands. Well, I have adult hands. Big hands is 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 the wrong word here. I have little girl hands for an adult. I have tiny hands. Y'all know this by now. But what is really cool is when you run this over anything, the balance on it is perfect because you can cup the cab of this. So if you do have a small child or a younger kid or whatever, they can grab the cab and run this over. It doesn't tip over, obviously, unless you are pulling it way far forward, which I don't think anybody's really going to do. But you can push it. It does have good tension in the wheels. I do like the way that is done. You do have a chain that attaches to the front that does have a hook that is attached. It's good stuff. Well, it is that time, and we are going to take a quick break, and we will be back here in a moment. Don't go away. So let's talk about one of the other small builds that come with this. It is stickered yet again. I know some of you are like, oh my God, I can't do stickers. You have to. You have to at some point in time. This does come with two different monkeys. You have a monkey that is healthy and curious. You could pretend that he's curious. And then you also have a monkey that has a cast on because you got to help the monkeys in the wild, dude. You got to... He got a broken bone. Maybe he got bit by an alligator. I guess if he got bit by an alligator, he might be dead or a crocodile. But maybe he fell out of the tree. Maybe he went for a branch and he's like, hey, Johnny, watch this. Ah. Crash. It happens every day. We don't know because we don't live in the wild, but people do. Anyway, with that in mind, here's what we have. We have this interesting little build of a med station does have solar power, by the way. They are taking the solar panel piece that they used on the ISS. Was it the ISS? From what, a year ago? A year and a half ago? I can't even remember. It seems like forever ago. They do use that. You do get solar power that comes with this. You do get a gauge readout that is just below that, a printed piece as well. So nice printed pieces here underneath the umbrella. Umbrella. Underneath the awning, I guess you could call it an umbrella, but underneath the awning, the awning pieces lift up. They are huge, large, tileish type pieces that clip into the main assembly in the back. And I love Lego for doing this because it allows me or a kid to be able to get in there and play. You have a fridge that has an egg. You have a fridge that has some other vials that are in it. You have a microscope. You have some other... um, things that you can throw under the microscope. I love that. There's a chair with a table that has a a tiny little round table. Think of it as more like an end table. It has a coffee mug on it that you can put on it. Maybe it's not coffee. Maybe it's grape juice or a dog grape juice. Either way, good stuff that is here. You do have some drawers that are in here below where the other um, things are that you are looking for on the microscope. You can fit some things in there. It just really meant to put in some tiles, the round tiles. That's fine. Not a big deal. I'm looking for some things. The assembly for this is very simple in the way that it is built in the back. But here's what I have noticed. Okay. When you go to close it, make sure you close it from the top and make sure you do not close it with force. Here is why. If you close it with force... We are only talking about some poles, some Lego poles here that are on the front end of this that are clipped in. If you close it with force, what you end up doing is it cants them outward so that they, you know, become loose. They break their clip grip and are kind of forced out from the top of where the clipping mechanism happens. And you can easily become, you know, it it just breaks free. Not a big deal. What I did, what I thought was hilarious, I took one of the monkeys, the monkey that doesn't have the cast, I gave the magnifying glass to him, and I just hung him here on uh, one of the pieces that are in on the back here of the build. 
And what is nice about the new monkeys are they do have a tail that is rounded so that you can hang it. It's a, 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 a hook style tail so that you can hang it and be able to look silly and look goofy or whatever. They look curious or whatever. Have a lot of fun with it. And I do like that. With this area, you do have a print, or not a print, a sticker that comes on top, the paw print with the medical sign. You do have this, I, I'm going to call him a doctor. I'm going to call him a doctor. You've got a doctor here. He's got on his sterile gloves, his nitrile gloves, whatever they call them these days. He's got those on. I like the color of those. He's got that nice, super light mintish type color. I think of it as like mint chocolate chip ice cream coloring. It's beautiful. I love the way it looks. He's got his printed stethoscope on him as well. He's you can you can uh, you can have him looking at the the monkey. You can have him be like, "Here monkey, here's a banana. Are you going to come with me? Come on. Do you want some coffee, monkey? Here we go." He only has the single face. It's kind of this weird smirk. I do like his hair. It just doesn't quite seem to fit the doc. He does not have any printing on his legs. And on the back, it's really just kind of the neck part of the back of his gown or whatever he's wearing, his scrubs with some, um, you know, marks in it that show layering. That's about it. So moving along, I have berated Lego in the past. If you are a episode one listener up until, what is this, episode 212, and then many in in, in between and before, you know Lego City helicopters are definitely not my favorite. There have been so many iterations, and I'm just like, seriously, again, this is what you're giving me? This is crap. Stop it. Get out. I'm going to eat my words. Here's why. We have a helicopter. Although I wish they would go away from the big uh, helicopter piece for the front, the window assembly, here's why it really doesn't seem to matter so much to me. Even though you can take it off and you get to your pilot, and your pilot minifig is a nice one as well. She's a, I like, I like seeing the female pilot. She only has one face. She does have the more modern pilot uh, helmet, which y'all know is the fairly standard pilot helmet these days. She has a similar, similar print. She does have the rescue print that is on the back. No print on the legs, but in the front it is more, it is more for an aviator. I don't think they wear parachutes. Uh, Helicopter pilots wear parachutes because parachuting, you know, upward would, ejecting would be a bad idea you'd probably get chopped to bits she does have a printed console piece and she does have her seat just behind her is where the winding mechanism is for the hook and we'll talk about the hook here in a minute but what i do like that they took this giant piece instead of doing just the giant piece they did put a few slope pieces on it so it doesn't feel so gaudy it doesn't feel so awful and you only have a few pieces i mean we're talking four studs worth of clutch But the clutch works enough. It does hold it. It does take a little maneuverability to be able to get it off. I do like the way it works. Again, stickers are struggling on this type of stuff. We're talking about tan. We're talking about going against dark red. There has to be something to fix this. I cannot put my stickers right against the edge and get this full color seal. I don't know how that can be adjusted or fixed remedied i need it done somehow the belly of this thing is red by the way so it is not the dark red but you do have dark red and then the tan running throughout on the sides you do have the rescue stickers with the logo that is there the props that are on this thing the the six bladed helicopter i love that you have the air intakes on the sides you have an air intake on top you've got the exhaust from the rear you have your three bladed Jang is probably going to be like, ha ha, you don't know what this is called. My point is you have the the blade that is on the back, the three-bladed blade that is on the back, but but your little stabilizer type piece that is on the rear, your little fin that is on the back is printed. And what they did with the print is they even cut the print. Now, obviously, they didn't cut it, but the print is done in a way that it makes it look like it is cut. I love that. That is super neat that I don't recall seeing anywhere else. 
love the way that is done. It's super awesome. Three-wheeled helicopter as well, or three assemblies as well. The interesting thing is there are things that can be fit into this helicopter, and I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to get one of them out at the moment. Now, you do have a nice little bay that is in here. It is four studs wide, and here's what you need to know. Okay, with this set, yes, you can you can shove in the um, you know the little cargo pallets or whatever the the solid molded pieces. You could put them in the back or whatever. What is even cooler about this set is you can take your jet ski from the set we just talked about, and you can perfectly fit it in, close it up, and it fits without a doubt, perfect, no issue at all. That is. Perfect marketing, if I have ever seen it before. Not only can you just take, you know, pieces and move it along to other sets, but now you have the opportunity to be able to take another piece from another set, fit it into a bigger build of a helicopter, drop it off wherever you need, because again, on this set, there's water. We're going to talk about it here in a moment. That is beautiful. I love the way that is done. It is perfect. The helicopter build is nice. I don't have any issues with it. You do have the mechanism, the uh, the little gear piece on the side that does allow you to drop the hook and um, raise the hook. What is nice is it's a hook, obviously, all, I think all of their hooks now, at least for this type of stuff, the, the system stuff, has the studs on it. So it does attach underneath the belly. So if you do leave a little slack in the string, you can attach it under the belly so it doesn't hang out and look stupid. I love the way this looks. This is probably one of my favorite helicopters for its size that has ever been done. Lego, like I said, I've been critical in the past of your helicoptering and your your constant, never-ending helicopter building. I love this one. But don't get it twisted. It's just, it's just this one. So moving along. Let's talk about the big main build that comes with this because that is where you're getting all the coolness that we haven't already talked about, of course. So my question to you is, do you love elephants? I love elephants. I think elephants are one of the most majestic creatures on the face of the planet. They, they really look interesting. Their size is grotesquely huge. And for what they eat, being... You know, my diet where I don't eat meat, I'm like, hey, I'm an elephant, except without the size. So how on God's green earth do they manage to accomplish that? Well, I don't know. I'm not a um, I'm not an animal scientist, but I got to tell you, I do like these. So the new animals finally made their entrance. Here is what you have. You have a head that can tilt up and down. And look, it goes up quite far like it's looking at the stars it looks down as if it's looking at its dinner and it rotates 360 degrees at the neck that is cool huge bulbous ears i love the sculpt of this the printed eyes this one does have tusks the smaller tusk this is i guess supposed to be more of the female but i thought only males had tusks. maybe i don't know what i'm talking about and then you do have the um, the the nose that is hanging out here. The main body itself is just one big solid body. No issues with that. You go well. Oh, you thought, oh, is it? That's it. No, you get a baby elephant. You get a baby elephant. How can you not love baby elephants? Now the baby elephant is awesome because what is really neat about it, it does have an open stud that is on the top. It, you know, does take up some space as far as it can stand on studs and stuff like that and lock into place. The ears are cute in the way that they're done. It's just a cute little animal. It reminds me of something from Lego Friends. Not Lego City, but Lego Friends. I love the way this is done. But the trunk of this animal is done in such a way that it can clip into place a bar. And the bar with this set is a leaf piece. Oh my God, it's so, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gushing right now like a little kid. But how cool is this? I would have died as a little kid to be able to have an elephant that I could clip in a piece of bamboo or whatever this animal is eating. Perfect. Thank you, Lego. Thank you, Nat Geo and Lego. Perfect. I love the way it's done. Now, moving on to the big type uh, main focus of the build what you have is you have some street plates that are here you have them in the darker is it dark nougat come on somebody correct me right 
and then you have the watercolor as well. You have lime colored pieces as far as plates that are all over the place here. You do have some uh, prairie brush or, or savannah brush that is popping up and stuff like that. You have, you have all that kind of stuff. And then you have this brick built tree. We'll get to the water in a moment. You have this brick belt tree. They use the two by two round bricks that are here, which we've seen endlessly. And then they use leaf pieces, some that are hanging off the side, some that are on rocks. I don't have any problems with it. I think it looks nice. And then what you have, what you have is a mechanism. And the mechanism obviously is red here. And if you jam this thing up, Okay, we'll talk about jamming in a moment. But if you press this thing downward, the tree will fall. Now, the tree is falling in a way that it is knocking these two rocks, the two rock pieces that you get. It's a total of four pieces, but obviously you have a top and a bottom to these rocks. You knock it down, and the tree and the rocks are supposed to create this barricade that maybe the baby elephant can't get to mama or mama can't get to baby elephant, or mama's trying to get away from the alligator, which we're going to talk about in a moment. Either way, I like the way that is done. Now, my issue is this. Kids are, for lack of a better term, kooky. (laughs) And kids use a lot of pressure sometimes. Now, I've gone through the gamut of jamming it, jamming it, jamming it, or gently, gently, gently pushing this trigger down to get the tree to fall. If you press this thing too hard, it is the the bottom of the tree is attached to a two by three plate that does have holes in it. So I guess it falls under Technic, but maybe not. And it's attached to a Technic piece that is attached to the mechanism, whatever. The problem is if you jam this thing too hard, what happens is with gravity, when it falls, it breaks off. Now, I'm, I'm telling you, you need to use quite a bit of force. But I know kids can do that. I know that's a thing that kids do. And, you know, it, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. So the next one that we have here, the next part of this, there's an alligator that comes with this, the new, more modern alligator where the mouth opens, a nice print that is on it. And he is in the water or she is in the water. There are eggs. There are two egg pieces that you get, and you also get one that has the printed eye on it because, you know, there's a baby crocodile or alligator that is breaking out. I'm going to say crocodile. I don't think there's any alligators in the Nile or over in Egypt or in the savannas or parts of Africa. So I'm just going to say crocodile. So there's a baby crocodile that is trying to break out here. I do like the way that is done. It works for me. I don't have any problems with it. Here is what I have noticed. If you are going to be, if you are somebody that likes to move sets around, you like to adjust and play and whatever, the, sh- the, the road plates, the street plates are nice. But the problem is when you go to connect them or you go to move things around, you start ending up with problems. And problems that are maybe not end of world type problems, but problems nevertheless. And that is one of the things that I noticed. It is covered by some of foliage, some vegetation that is here to be able to, you know, hide the eggs and stuff like that. But here's, here's my thing. If you're a parent and I know a falls are like, I'm I'm not a parent. Some, some of you, but you got little kids. You're buying this for a little kid, right? Make sure that you support. If you are moving this thing, make sure you support the ends or they're going to, they're going to fall off. And if your kid is going to go move it, it is immediately going to fall off and you're going to lose tiles, you're going to lose vegetation, you're going to lose plates. There's really not any bricks on here that you might lose because they're going to have the centerpiece. So just just be mindful of that. That's all I can say. So as a whole, this set, phenomenal. I love the helicopter. I love the off-road vehicle, the, the, the six-wheel tracked vehicle. I love the way that is done. I love the med station. It's super neat. Monkeys, again, you got a monkey and a cast. Come, who cannot appreciate a monkey and a cast? I don't want to see a monkey and a cast as an animal lover, but my God, it's so cute. It's adorable. I love it. I like the way that it is done. You get extra bananas. You get some extra stuff that comes with this, but that is not what is selling you here. The question becomes, are you willing to spend 
90 bucks here in the US for five, just over 500 pieces. That is where the question is. Now, obviously, it comes down to a holiday or birthday or something like that. You know, hey, little little Billy wants this. I'm going to buy it. Little James wants this. I'm going to buy it. But what if you're like, you know what? I just can't justify that. Maybe you wait on a sale. I mean, we are rolling into the month of December. I mean, I'm recording this, and we are on the precipice of rolling into December. So you have an opportunity to save some things. Save money on something. Save whether it be 10%, 20%, 80%, whatever it might be. You have an opportunity to save some money in the big box stores and stuff like that. And all of this stuff does go on sale throughout the year. It isn't just a one time. I've already seen this stuff at Target discounted. So it's it's not the end of the world. Or maybe there's an incentive. You spend 50 bucks, you get a $10 gift card. That kind of thing. So let's talk about the very last set for this, and it is the Wildlife Rescue Camp 60307. It is a $100 price point, and actually, you're going to hate me. Please, please don't smack me. It has 503 pieces. Not only is it 10 bucks more expensive, it has fewer pieces. Some of you are going to be like, have you lost your ever-loving mind? I haven't. No. Not me, not not me. And I don't think Lego has either, if you consider what is in this. So let's talk about the Wildlife Rescue Camp. Shh, it's okay. We will be right back, and we will get on to this awesome set that we want to talk about after this quick break. All right, so you're like, you know what? The cuteness has worn off of the elephants. No, 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 no. We are not done with Elephantis yet. The great thing about this, you are getting an identical elephant build. The same one as the, I guess it's the female elephant. But this one has the massively long tusks. Beautiful, beautiful build. Build. (laughs) Beautiful chunk of plastic is what it comes down to. No baby elephant with this, but here's what you're getting. You're getting a bunch of tiny builds. Let's talk about the tiny builds. One of them, you are getting a super duper motorcycle. I guess you could call it super duper. We've already seen this guy, same print, same everything, same helmet. He does have a fire extinguisher on because what he is doing, he is racing to this mini build to be able to put out the fire so that the savannah, because we're talking about lions and elephants, doesn't burn down. Do lightning strikes happen in savannas? Is that a thing? Like, I know forest fires happen on the West Coast here in the United States and and sometimes in Texas and some of the, you know, border areas and stuff. But do forest fires happen over in Africa in the savannah? I don't I don't really know. Either way, he's racing to put out the fire. He's on his red motorcycle. He's like, I got to get there. And the fire piece is able to be maneuvered around so that the fire is sticking out. You can pretend you're blasting it and sunk, put it away. Looks nice. It's it's a few sloped pieces that go into this build with a plate and some, some foliage. That is about it. One of the other things here. So, if I were Jang, and if you don't know my buddy Jang, Jang is a very, what is the word I'm looking for? A very, you know what? We'll just say very detailed Overly detailed, in a good way, not in a bad way. Some people are going to call this a plane. Some people are going to call this a glider. I'm going to call it a glider. It has a prop that is on the back, super tiny. This is a super tiny build. It does have a steering control. It does have a minifig that does come with it, same as the female pilot that we saw in the helicopter. It does have a printed slope tile-ish piece that is on the front. does have that Paul emblem with the... Uh, medical blue emblem as well. And it does have that single steering stick, which, you know, I mean, it doesn't really work for Lego minifigs. Their their arms are on the side. They're not posable as far as, you know, pushing them towards the center. So there, there are two possibilities here. You're either dealing with something that is going to land, you know, weirdly at an angle or it's not going to land at all because I mean if it's in their hand it's only one hand at a time so it's either pointing left or pointing right but whatever it's you know it's just a little silliness so you do have that same minifig as always 
with many of these, you do get a boat. The boat can float because it is a single solid piece. It doesn't float very well, though. I put it in my sink. I was like, this is it. If there was a wave, you'd be dead. Your boat would be capsized. Done. Game over. Good night. But you do get another um, large container piece in here. Uh, you can put goods in here. It does use a dark bluish gray telephone piece as the handle, which you can't really grab from. I mean, you can semi grab from, but I've had issues where it pops off. You pretty much have to grab from the modified tile slash plate piece that is the base for Lego minifigs or collectible minifigs. You do have a female that is driving this boat. It does have a nice little engine that is on the back. She's carrying a walkie-talkie. She's like, hey, this is this is going on. She has the same torso we've talked about before with the darker tannish color, and it has rescue on the back. On the front, it's got some pockets in, uh, printed on the breast area. I do like this. Simple, not superly over-the-top. One, one face as well. And it also does come with a life-saving flotation device that is on the front, which is nothing new. So next up, let's talk about the next step up as far as big builds. We've got another big vehicle here. And what is nice is there is room on the top of this puppy that you can put both of the containers, the one that I just talked about from the boat. And there is also another one here, same style build, but they use the... Um, four by two specialized tile pieces that have two studs that are on the top to be able to, you know, get to what you need to. But that also doubles as an opening device because on the back end where it reaches actual tiles, it does open quite smoothly. It is clipped into place and it is like a medical center. Inside, you've got some interesting little uh, stickers that are going on there. You've got some things that uh, say, you know, rescue, you've got to go save these animals. I put my broom in here. The broom felt like the best place to be able to put in here. There are also some other things that are in here as well. You do have another container because it's like container heavy. There's super duper amount of things to do. Uh, I shoved my cast in here, or extra cast maybe. I shoved my cast. I shoved a bottle. I shoved a syringe in there. You do have a microscope in here as well. And then you also do have a printed one by two tile that has Peanuts logo printed on it. Not bad at all. The rescue logos that are on the side are all stickers on the front that is printed, which is nice. So you do have that. The nice thing is you have an availability for too many things. You have your driver and you have somebody that is in the back. Obviously, your doctor, which let's pull out the doctor and let's talk about the doctor same minifig as the other doctor, just female face here. Single face, you drop her in there. She's got her little keyboard. She's doing her thing. She's doing her own thing. She's, you know, charting up the animals that she helped or did not help or whatever the case may be. Your driver, he's got a cool little beard. I do like his little goatee that he's got going on here. It looks pretty nice. Same print as before. We've seen this so many times with the vested pockets and then the rescue emblem on the back. Nothing new, but he does come with a dark red hat to be able to put on top of him. The wheels are the same size as the other vehicle. This vehicle, depending how you look at it, is slightly longer. This is brick build. It is not, you know, full on chassis build. So it is nicer in that regard. I do like it. I do like the ability that you can open from the top or you can open from the back or both at the same time. It does have doors that are on the rear of the vehicle. It has a snorkel that is on the vehicle. I think that is pretty neat in its own right because, you know, you're out in the savanna, you're out in the bush and you're going through potentially deep water and you need that snorkel to be able to get um, oxygen or air to the engine uh, assembly so that you, you know, nobody, the vehicle continues on. So let's talk about the land masses that come with this set. So the two land masses, technically, if you really want to call it anything, there were three land masses here two of which are divided by some water and one which is not because it is a separate build. It is not attached. But let's talk about the smaller one that is not attached. This is the location. This is like your pride rock where you are putting your male lion, another male lion, 
This dude is all white except for his mane, which is that tan color. It is absolutely beautiful. The The neck goes up and down. The hips, that they have the hip swivel. That works as well. I love the way that is done. There is also a white cub that comes with this. A white cub. There's also a tan cub as well. How many lion cubs can I get? Infinite. I need all of them. They're, they're so beautiful. In this build itself, you're building up a rock formation, and then there is a rather large tree that is on top of the rock formation. And then you also get a vulture that is hovering over its egg of its young on the top of the tree. I do like the way that is done. I thought that was super cool. And it's nice. It's not an eagle. It is a vulture, and it's just different. I think it uses the same mold as the uh, the bald eagle, if I'm not mistaken, but it does look nice in the way that it is done. The red coloring that is in there works for me quite well. And the tree build, pretty simple. It wasn't anything that I was like, oh my God, this is like a tree house that I've built before. No, not really anything like that. Pretty, pretty basic. You get your big chunky pieces that are used here. What I do like is there is an outcropping underneath the tree inside of the embedding of the rock, which we talked about with the last set. You do have that as well. Other than that, there's really not too much to talk about. The next set or the next part of the set, you've got your female lioness here, hips, neck swivel, same as the other lines that we have already talked about. And you get a water build using the plates, the new road plate system here. You get some plates that come through here to be able to create a water idea or, or a suggestion of water that is going on. And on the left side, if you're looking at this from the front, you have a ladder that is attached to this tree that goes to a platform that goes through to a mechanical clicky crane, which can be adjusted. And the crane is to be able to pull up crates. Now, remember when I said, oh, this telephone, it doesn't work. This telephone piece doesn't really work well with these crates. It keeps snapping off. That telephone piece is there to be able to help lift the crates. Now, the problem I have with this is it doesn't go down very far. You have to maybe back up a vehicle or do something else. I would have preferred this chain that attaches to a hook to go much longer. That way, when I lower it to its I mean, basic position, it is going to go the whole way down and I can still keep an arch. Now, obviously, that's a quick fix. You know, you add another chain piece to it, game over, good night, you're done. Works out quite well. You do get some monkeys that come with this set as well. I've got one of my monkeys hanging in the tree here, just chilling. And then I've got another one holding a banana like, hey, you want a banana, Bob? Bob, do you want a banana? Here, I know you're hungry. Here's your banana. You can hear the... Um, Stuff clanking around in the background. Across from that, across from the left side of this, as you cross the bridge, it does use one of those um, solid whole ladder pieces that have the clips on the end. You can clip that into place on both sides, which is nice. And then you have your secondary build here, your other treehouse type build. The bottom part of this treehouse is not open, which really kind of disgusts me for the most part because I did expect it to be able to have some kind of functionality. It does not. You get to the second tier. All it is in there is a desk with a coffee mug. There is a ladder, the clip-on ladders, that is goes up to the top. We do have a piece of fabric that is used for the canvas that is over top of the overlooking area, the observation booth or point that people are looking at animals and stuff like that. You do have this really cool uh, looking binocular type style uh, piece that is up here to be able to zoom in and check out the animals. Really not a whole lot up here. They use the Mario uh, plates that have the rounded edges here in the nougat color. And then you also have a mini fig that is, if, if I'm not mistaken, is completely different than the rest. He does have a camera and it does have the towel. And then he is dual face. He's happy face, you know, mouth agape, smiling face. And then he also has the lips that are kind of pursed together. And then in the corner, you know, it looks like he's smiling. Nice breast pockets. I do like the way that is done. You can see kind of the coloring of his shirt that may or may not be underneath, the same as in the back. No leg printing though, however. So not horrible. Not horrible by any means. This is a really cool set. I think it fits well with the others, 
My favorite thing that I did was I basically took all of the animals and I took all of the sets. And what is nice about the sets is it allows modularity. You can take the blue of this river from this set and attach the whole assembly to the other set that we just talked about. You have infinite, you have vehicles, whether it be planes, gliders, helicopters, motorcycles, off-road vehicles, non-off-road vehicles, uh, medical vehicles. You have monkeys, you have lions, you have alligators or crocodiles, you have snakes, you have elephants of different size and variation. There's so much here. I mean, you have a vulture for God's sakes. You have a vulture. There's so much here between these sets that at, at day's end, you really kind of have to look at it and say, what am I getting? Yes, I understand what you're looking at as far as price point goes. Just a dad over 500 and you're paying 100 bucks. I get it. But you're getting a huge elephant. You're getting huge, chunky plastic pieces. Why are you getting huge, chunky plastic pieces? Because it's for kids. Now, maybe you're like, you know what? I'm just going to buy on bricks and pieces. I'm going to buy 100 monkeys. Good on you. You're going to have an awesome monkey exhibit. I guarantee. You're going to buy elephant pieces. Do it. The new lions and Linus. Do it. They are phenomenal. I cannot say enough how great they are done. The print, just the idea behind them is phenomenal. As a playset, I think all of the playsets work. I don't think there's one playset that stands above the other. I think they all accomplish the same thing. It's just as far as the size goes. You're getting more. You're getting more things to do. But if I had it my way, I mean, as a kid... There's, there's so many different things that you can do with all of these. You're talking about the helicopter with one and the off-road vehicle, the, the, the tracked vehicle. You're talking about the, the animal rescue vehicle and the huge elephant. I mean, there, there's just so many different things that a kid can really jump into. An adult in its own right can jump into. I love this kind of stuff for what it is. Not because I'm just reviewing it and discussing it, but for what it is. You know, the helicopter can spin up. What What is one other thing that I could think of that I would prefer on a helicopter? I'd prefer a gear on top to be able to spin um, the, the propeller on the top. They've done that before. I like that. I think it's a cool idea. I'd love to see it more. Get rid of the top piece and let me do that. Because as a, as a, as a late 30s kid, that's what I want to do. That's, that's just what I would enjoy. That's what kids enjoy. So as a whole, I think all of these sets are pretty solid. I don't have any complaints about any of them. I think the animals sell them on their own right. You get some other things that come in here as well. If you're a pieces collector, maybe you're like, you know what? I'm going to wait and see if this drops in price. You could definitely do that. But in my, in my world, the world that I live in that you may or may not live in, depending, I think these are good values. I would prefer to see the two bigger sets drop by at least 10 to 15 bucks. I know what you're getting as far as plastic, but I, as far as a, a, somebody that is going to go out and purchase it, I would, as an adult, I would prefer it to be about 10 to 15 lower. It's just my opinion and, and maybe not everybody's. So with that in mind, I hope you guys enjoyed the discussion with these sets. If you have not bought any, I highly implore you to check them out. I, I don't think you're going to be displeased or saddened or unhappy with your purchase. If you are looking for something as far as animals go, this is it. The Friends line does that as well. But this is completely different. The Friends animals are like all the big giant puppy and cat eyes. They all look super like um, cartoonish. These feel a little less. These feel a little bit, uh, what, what, I guess... Maybe on the limit of being more realistic, if if you could call it that. However, good stuff. So, we have Monkey Kid stuff coming up. Make sure you check that stuff out. We have some other things that are in the works as well. So, until we meet again, I'm your minifig ghost, Matt. Let's bet on it.